Hello there, my beautiful collective. Okay, this is messages from your person. This is what they need to say, what's hidden, what they have not spoken to you. If this is a no contact, a no contact situation, uh, we're going to take a look at uh, why they haven't contacted you, you yet and uh, where this connection is going. Um, we'll also answer some questions with the tarot. But yeah, this is messages from your person, so stay tuned. If you're interested, if this uh, reading resonates, like and subscribe. If it doesn't, leave what doesn't resonate and leave that behind, okay? You can also take a look at other readings, okay? But uh, make sure to smash that like button and that sub subscribe button, if you will, for your girl. I appreciate it. I love you. Okay, so let's get some messages from your person. How does your person currently feel in this situation? What is not being said? What needs to be revealed? Give me a message. As we're channeling messages, several messages may come out, so be aware of that. Okay? Um... Of course, this message could be intended for more than one person, so be aware. Okay, we have tears. When I think about you, I cry. So I feel like there's, there's someone who's really missing you. There's someone who's really feeling very strongly about you. We have spoiling you. Okay, I want to give you a good life. I want to spoil you with gifts and trips and everything you could ever need or want. You deserve nothing less. Okay, so I feel like if this is one person, this is someone who feels like they can't give you exactly what they want to give you at this moment. So they may be keeping themselves at a distance until they get themselves into a better position, until they can actually come to you correct. Right. For others of you, I feel like this is someone who um, maybe is standing at a distance. Maybe this is someone new coming through that haven't had a chance to speak to you. You know, I'm getting a couple, a couple of different situations here. Okay, let's see. Okay, we have attention of others. I am addicted to the attention of others. I love feeling wanted and needed. I don't feel whole without it. Yeah, this is an attention vampire. They love the attention of other people. You know, this may be someone who has a really strong ego, someone who's very, you know, egotistic, narcissistic. You know, I, I don't like to say that word narcissistic too much because I feel like we all have those tendencies from time to time. But I feel like this is a person who loves attention. They love to be the spotlight. Okay? We have feeling lost. I'm trying to make this work, but I feel so lost. I don't know what to do or say anymore. It's easier just to stay silent. Okay? So this could be someone in your life who just doesn't know what to say. They just don't have the words. They don't know how to express exactly how they feel. You know, excuse me, I feel like it may be easier instead of letting you know what they need or what they want to just stay silent and keep you guessing, which is very, very unfair. Wow. Yeah, we have... You're so special. You're truly divine. I've never felt energy like yours before, and I can't get enough. Okay? So, yeah, I feel like someone sees you as the diamond that you are. You know, they see how special you are, how unique you are. You know, we have your mind. I get so pissed knowing other people can have you now. It is toxic. Yes, I see. I want the world to know you're mine. I feel like someone's very jealous. 
okay? You're making someone very jealous. You know, they can't stand the thought of seeing you out with someone else, having your attention on someone else, having you, you know, um, not having your full attention on them. You know, they see you as such a special person, but I feel like, you know, they are in this space where their jealousy is kind of taken over because they see how attractive you are, how appealing you are, and they have this fear of you finding someone else just as appealing as someone else finds you. And this person is very scared of that. You know, they can't stand the idea of you giving anyone else your attention but them, right? They get very jealous. They get very overbearing when it comes to you paying more attention to something else than to them, you know? They feel like they're not being uh, loved. They're not being respected. They're, you know, in this, all up in their emotions. Okay, give me more messages. Tell me more. Okay, we have unblock me. I miss you. I want to connect. Please unblock me, literally or energetically, so we can speak. I have a lot to say. You know, it could be that you kind of distance yourself from this person because of some kind of jealousy that they showed you. So you may have literally blocked them, or you may just be kind of distancing yourself from their energy. You know, because you see how toxic this could get in the long run. If, you know, you obviously, if you're in a social setting, you're going to actually put more energy into a conversation than just one person. You know, that's just unrealistic. It's unrealistic for someone to say, you know, don't pay attention to anyone else but me. That's just... That's just not realistic at all, you know? That's just being very childish and being, being very selfish. Okay, what else do we have? We have unclear. I don't know how to, I feel about the connection anymore. Yeah, I, I feel like this person is very unclear about the connection because they don't feel like your full, full focus is on them. So that's pulling them into this confusion. It's pulling them into this feeling of denial that, you know, maybe she's not the one. Maybe he's not the one. Maybe they're, you know, maybe they're just out there. Maybe they're a hoe, a thought, a trick, you know. And, and I, I feel like they're putting those labels on you because of their insecurities. Okay. And, you know, I'm sorry to be so blunt, but I, I feel like it's it's all their insecurity. It's nothing to do with you. See, look, we have jealousy. I'm very jealous. I can barely stand it. Yeah, there's a lot of jealousy here. There's a lot of jealousy here. And I feel like if this situation goes any further, it's going to become very toxic because this person wants all your attention. They want to be your full focus. They don't want you to have your intentions on anything else. You know, I feel like this person is very, they're very in awe of you, collective, you know. We have ghosted. I'm sorry I disappeared. I needed to get away and clear my mind. You know, so this person can kind of step back, step away. Because I feel like their jealousy is taking hold. This could be you ghosting them because of the situation that they're kind of putting you through, you know. Um, but I feel like this person is very, you know, they have an unhealthy way of seeing a situation. And this can go left very quickly if their needs aren't met, you know, and I feel like they're putting their needs first. They're thinking very strongly about you, my collective. You know, they miss you. They need you. They need to see you. They're attracted to you. They want you. But in all, they're putting their needs first because they have this jealousy, these unclear feelings, these unclear expectations, you know, 
Um, I feel like this person is very unstable in a relationship. I feel like this would be very um, I have I really I hesitate to say unhealthy but you know where the coin fits right um, I feel like it may be a very unhealthy relationship my lovely collective so if this is the person that you're dealing with I feel like you should run okay uh, let's get some more feelings I'm going to go ahead and change decks. Let's get some more energy for this person. I'm only going to I'm only going to pull three more cards. Okay. I know I was a distraction from your pain. So you may have went through this situation in the past. You may have went through a similar situation. Or maybe you are just coming out of a, a relationship and this is the first person that you met after that. You know, maybe you've gone through some trauma and this person was there to kind of give you that support. You know, um, what else do we have? What other messages? I want to feel that way again. I, I feel like you may have put a lot of energy into the situation in the beginning. You may have put energy into this person. You may have feel made them feel very wanted, very accepted, very loved and nurtured. You know, you have that ability. You have that ability to put that into someone because you are that loving person. You know, and they want all of that attention again. You know, they want to feel that again. Okay, let's get some more energy. You and I were too young. So it could be that you and this person are just immature in the situation. Um, it could be that you're too young, that, you know, you don't have all the answers just yet when it comes to a relationship. Let's go ahead and take a look at the tarot. Let's see where this connection is going. Let's see where this connection is going, please. Messages for this connection. Okay. We have the sun. I feel like you're looking for happiness. There is the tower and the fool. Okay. All major arcanas. So this is a very strong message. So I feel like, collective, you're trying to find happiness. But I feel like being with this person is going to cause a great change. You know, um, there's some kind of tower moment that happens during this relationship, during this situation. But you are going to come out ahead. You are going to come out with this new beginning, with this fresh start. You know, so although we have the sun and the fool, we still have this tower in the middle. Okay, so this person may make changes to make you happy, but this could also be something crumbling because it wasn't stable. Okay, I'm not going to say for all of you, this is this is going to be just this drastic tower moment because that would be unfair and untruthful. You know, for some of you, this is this person willing to make changes. For some of you, this is this tower just crumbling down because it's not stable and then having this fresh start. Okay, um, give me more messages. Why are the sun? Give me a message for the sun. Okay, the hangman and the four of wands. Yeah, I feel like you're trying to look at things through a different perspective, but you're looking at the finish line. You're looking at, you know, the long term stability. You're looking at marriage. I feel like you're kind of ready. You're ready to take that plunge. You're ready to make those sacrifices that it takes to lead into something more permanent, something more stable. OK, tell me why this tower is here. 
the two of pentacles and someone needs to set their priorities there's some choices that need to be made in this situation the page of pentacles the queen of wands and the seven of pentacles okay so with this tower moment i feel like there's there's someone who needs to set their priorities there's some kind of choices or options that need to be taken there is some sort of good news here when it comes to the pinnacle the page of pinnacles but there's also some kind of action that needs to be taken so it's almost like saying um are you gonna walk the walk and talk the talk you know are you gonna make the effort to um make this tower stable you know are you going to put in the work you know there's a lot of pinnacles here this is about hard work and stability um the the queen of wands this is more about taking action and being happy in the skin that you're in the queen of wands she doesn't care what anyone thinks about her what anyone says about her she's just looking for her happiness and if you see, she has a sunflower in her lap. She, and the sunflower represents your happiness, you know. Um, being aware, being fully aware, you know, chasing that happiness. Okay, so let's see. I feel like I also get like a determination to put the effort in. Um, with this energy, um, uh, but with, I feel like there's a really great desire to make sure this tower is stable, you know, or make sure this tower doesn't happen again, you know, obviously if the tower moment happens these are you know unexpected changes but i feel like someone's putting a lot of effort a lot of desire someone's making something a priority you know you it could be you weighing your options trying to find something that's more stable okay but um i really feel like with this full card here that there's going to be a fresh start. There's going to be something that's going to happen that's going to be, you know, a renewal faith. You know? Why is the fool here? Give me a message for the fool. <clears throat> the six of wands. Success. Yeah, some sun. There's going to be a cycle ending and a new beginning. And it's going to be successful. It's going to lead to success. So if this is the person that you're dealing with, I feel like this person, if, if you let them know how you feel, your wants and intentions, I feel like there's a need to really make it work. There's a need that this person will make the changes that they need to make. They will get themselves in check, you know. Um... But I feel like there's this soul conversation that needs to happen with this person, right? But I, I feel like this situation could be very successful with the, the Fool, the Six of Wands, and the World card. You know, this is new cycles. This is lessons learned. This is achievements, okay? And I feel like it could be very prosperous. Okay, so let's go ahead and get your Oracle card. We'll go ahead and get your Fortune Oracle. And two of them jumped out. Okay, so we have Unity. A time of divine understanding, renewal, peace, and hope. Uh, you radiate and attract great love. The number 24, excuse me, the number 34. And we also have the unicorn. Success, hope, freedom, healing, 
and magic are all available to you if you just believe. Okay. And now I'm, I see that this person sees you as a unicorn. They see you as the one, right? They see you as someone who's, you know, who they may be ready to settle down with. Okay, let's go ahead and get your angel number. What do we have for the collective? Fifteen, fifteen. creativity. Keep assessing the creative connection that you feel to the divine. The whispers speak through your creative connection, allowing you to express the beauty that is within you and the connection to the love that is around you. Your affirmation, creativity is my birthright. And as I express my creativity, I feel a beautiful flow of love and connection okay so that is your angel number okay collective if this reading resonates please like and subscribe if it doesn't please leave that message behind you can also look at another message okay and until your next reading my lovelies many blessings to you love and light